everyone, hello and welcome to the Preset 6 Challenge Day 30. So, that's pretty exciting. Um, not super exciting because it's done, because it was hard or anything like that. Just very exciting because um, this is this is excellent. This has been a really good challenge. I think that um, the scale will show that this has worked out pretty well. So, I wanted to make today's a pasta day, and I wanted to make, it's called Vegan Carbonara with Coconut Bacon, and it is from... I will put the um, link in the box below because I'm I don't want to I don't want to butcher this lady's name. We'll just call her Bianca. Zapotka? That, that could be right. Anyway, Bianca. It's just got a beautiful name. Bianca's a pretty name. Anyways, um, so there are multiple steps to this recipe, and it is potentially extremely high in fat which is not a problem if you are the type of person that digests it well and um, your body does just fine with it, that's totally cool. However, I do tend, I'm pretty darn sure that I don't do well with really high fat um, on a regular, regular basis. So I am cutting down the fat in this significantly, although I think it's still gonna taste absolutely wonderful. So I, there's multiple different pieces to this. So one is you need to make pasta of some sort. I would prefer to make something that's like, um, like a fettuccine-ish flat noodle type shape, but I don't have any. So I'm making um, the green edamame pasta. So I'm going to have that for the pasta. You need to have, um, you're gonna end up cooking some mushrooms with some sauce. We'll talk about that in a minute. And you're supposed to make a coconut bacon to put on this. So I worked on that step this morning um, before going to bed because it requires soaking some stuff for a little bit and then it requires baking it for a while and I just didn't think I would have enough time to do all that tonight. Um, so you're supposed to make coconut bacon, which I got some shredded coconut, some organic shredded coconut so that I could do that. Um, but you're supposed to use a cup of this and a quarter of a cup has 19 grams of fat. <laughs> now granted, you're not gonna use all of it on one plate of pasta, but I was still like, wow, that's, that's a lot. So my other thought was, well, what else could you use that would potentially be little like that, that could crisp up in the oven when you cook it with stuff on it? And so I decided to try riced cauliflower. And let me tell you, this would work really well if you didn't overcook it, because I overcooked mine just a little bit. The last um, the last six minutes that I put it in for probably was about four minutes too long, maybe three minutes too long. Um, it's not like super, super burnt, but it's just past the point where it's um, it needed to be taken back out of the oven. But anyways, so I took a, a tray of cauliflower and I put on it, um, I followed the recipe, so I put on it one, uh, let's see, two teaspoons of maple syrup, one teaspoon of liquid smoke, um, let's see, it was four teaspoons of um, the soy sauce and one teaspoon of the smoked paprika. So I mix those and you're supposed to put two teaspoons of oil in it. Um, I just used two teaspoons of water. So I thought that would be fine and spread it out on the cookie sheet. And then I baked it according to the instructions at 325 degrees. Um, but it says to bake for approximately 15 minutes until golden brown, stirring um, occasionally. And I think that would work out really well because the coconut's already very dry. Um, the cauliflower is very, very wet because it, I mean, I even tried to squeeze the water out of it as much as I could before I, I used it. And it still was very, very wet. So I ended up cooking for a whole lot longer than that. Um, but like I said, I cooked it for a little bit too long. So I'm down to the counter here quick and you can see what it looks like. So I made two different um, containers. One is boy friendly, which just means that I, instead of using uh, soy sauce, I used um, Bragg's liquid amino and I left the smoked paprika out and put garlic in instead. So really not a huge difference, but you could tell this one is the one with the paprika in it and this is the one that doesn't have paprika. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit too dark and it needed to have been pulled out a little bit earlier. The boys isn't quite as dark. Um, theirs actually ended up being probably cooking for the right amount of time. But anyways, so that's what that looks like. And I did try it this morning. It is um, very tasty, other than the fact that it is a little bit uh, on the darker side of, of flavor. My one son will absolutely love this, for sure. He doesn't mind stuff that's a little bit darker, um, and I'm not sure about the other two. So anyways, I am going to, but it definitely, like, you can hear that. It definitely is dried to the point that it's like a bacon bit, so that's kind of neat. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna cook spaghetti. I'm going to go and um, make the sauce real quick right now. So let's talk about the sauce quick. So you're supposed to cook mushrooms on the stove while your um, pasta is cooking. 
and then you blend up your sauce to put on it and you put it on the I think you put it let's read how you do this I'm pretty sure you put it on the mushrooms you do the mushrooms add some um, garlic to it and then you put the cashew cream in along with the pasta and the peas and you put it in the sauce okay so you just toss it all to combine um, and then you serve it with some of your bacon so use you're supposed to use one and a half cups of cashews one and two third cup of water and two heaped teaspoons of vegetable broth that is the part that's supposed to blend together to make the um the cheesy sauce it says on here one of her notes says instead of making the cashew cream if you want to you can sub two and one third cup of non-dairy cream or non-dairy milk with one tablespoon of flour to thicken and then just add that to the mushrooms garlic and cook until it gets to the desired consistency so i'm going to blend together a half a cup of cashews rather than one and a half cups of cashews um the liquid and then you're also supposed to put in it some nooch so i'm going to do that for my sauce rather than using a cup and a half of cashews because that is a lot of cashews so basically i've got water going for the pasta i'm going to start the mushrooms and um, get those to the point where they're good that's probably gonna take me like 10 minutes because mushrooms take forever to me i don't know why they take so long but they do uh, to get to the point where I want to eat them. I mean, if you like them a little bit chunkier, still not quite as uh, cooked down, that would be fine too. And then I'm going to blend the sauce while the mushrooms are cooking and then put that on there and put it all together and sprinkle it with some bacon and I will be back to talk to you about it. It'll be wonderful. I think this is gonna be a great recipe. Um, like I said, I need to try the coconut bacon again and cauliflower bacon, obviously not coconut, but I need to try the cauliflower bacon again and be a little more attentive to it in the oven. Um, I was reading this morning while I, while I was listening to an audiobook this morning while I was um, cooking the, the cauliflower bacon. I just kind of let it do its own thing and I should have paid more attention. So, alrighty, let me go cook and I'll be back with you guys in a little bit. Alrighty guys, so I am done. It has been husband tested and approved um, and it's, it smells great and it looks beautiful. So, there is my vegan carbonara with cauliflower bacon. Um, hey Anthony, so I gave you some with the cauliflower bacon on it that was burnt. Did you taste it? You couldn't taste it? Okay, well, that's fine. Um, I just thought I would find out and see, cause he doesn't, I mean, I don't mind the burntish flavor. He's not a big fan. So anyways, there we go. That is my main meal for today. And it is also an eggy tofu and uh, toast kind of day with some fruit. So I need to get that going. I'm just gonna clean out the pan that I already used and use the same pan to cook that in, cause that'll be easy. Um, I don't know what fruit I'm taking. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. Maybe some kiwis. That would be delicious. Okay, so I gotta go because I got dishes that I need to finish and I got a kitchen I need to clean up and it's all good. So I will talk to you guys again in the morning for some exercise. I hope you're having a great day. It is time for some food discussion and exercise. So I am home from work and um, man, food last night was so good. Um, after I got done talking to you guys, I was going to make some um, eggy tofu and I was just like, ah, I'm kind of running late. I really would like to do the dishes so my husband doesn't have to. And so I just decided to take two of the vegan carbonara with me rather than making the eggy tofu. And so I ate at 9.30 and again at 5-ish, 5.15-ish? No, 5. Um, anyway, fantastic. Super, super wonderful, super exciting, super delicious. Um, I just have to make sure that I don't eat again tonight until an appropriate time, but that's okay. It should be fine. Um, anyways, so, oh, today's the last day. Hmm. I'm going to keep up with the intermittent fasting thing though. Pretty sure. We'll see. I think that I'm going to though. Anyways, um, this has gone really well. I will talk to you guys again, uh, tomorrow for a, a finale video, but, um, let's talk about some exercise. Well, we're finishing on a relatively easy note, so that's kind of exciting. Um, so the bicep curls, when you do two at the same time rather than one, I can't do the same amount of weight. Like I can do a heavier weight when it's one at a time, but when it's both of them at the same time, I think I can only do eight. I'll try tens, we'll see. Uh, the bent over rows, those I'm actually getting pretty good at. I don't remember what weight I'll do, but we just get out a bunch of weights and set them across the floor and, and give it a try. <laughs> and then the farmer's walk again. We will just do this until our hands get tired rather than until, um, yeah, rather than waiting and, and doing just this 14 step thing because that totally just doesn't work. So 
anyways, I'm gonna wait for Anthony to get home from having dropped the boys off at school and exercise, and I will talk to you guys in just a little bit. Alrighty guys, so I am done exercising and I've got my jewelry back on and my headphones back on so that I can go upstairs and put my stuff away. Um, okay, so bicep curls. I did 10 pounds on those and that was actually a little bit of a struggle. Um, I could do heavier weights, I could do the 15s when it's one at a time. When it's both of them at the same time, not at all. Uh, bent over rows, I did 5 10 pounds on those as well and that actually, that worked out really well. It was kind of a little bit heavy but not too bad. And then, um, the farmer's walk. I used a 20 pound weight and we just walked to exhaustion. Um, and that happens sooner than I'd like it to, but it's just your hands start to get weak and then your forearm muscle just, yeah, doesn't really care for that so much. But anywho, so we did it and we're done. And Anthony and I are going to have to talk about what we're going to do next for exercise because there's going to have to be something because just stopping is not okay. That's not going to work out at all. Anywho, that's it for me for this challenge. I will see you guys tomorrow for a finale video and I hope you're having a fabulous day.